This is my fourth expedition in search of this lost gold. This year is one of the lowest snowpacks in the mountains in about 50 years. I'm very optimistic that we have a good chance on this occasion to find something. Pitt Lake is the usual access to the country in which we're going to search and it can be very dangerous with unpredictable squalls and storms from the north. The mountains also can be covered in snow with a freak blizzard in the middle of summer. My involvement in this expedition is based more on my interest in the origin of the legend and separating fact from fiction. I'm curious to understand where the story of Slumax Gold came from and what's fueled it for so many years. Well, here's an example of uh, how this story has been carried on over the years. This is supposedly a picture of Slumax in his younger years and, and uh, photography wasn't even available at that time. And, and here's another picture, <laughs> supposedly, of Slumax with an Indian maiden in a boat. Now, who's to say that that's him? Here we are, paid the penalty. This is all about the trial. Can you imagine, eh? 15 minutes. Just 15 minutes for the jury to decide to send a man to the gallows. It seems mm. that that's the way the Indians were treated in those days. You know, it was about this time in the 1890s in Europe uh, when the headlines, they were full of stories of, you know, of uh, Jack the Ripper. I wonder if those stories, you know, they probably reached the New World, and I, I'm really wondering if that had an influence on how people perceived this so-called savage. Here's another article, April 3rd, 1906. Sounds like we have a court case described here by the writer as having all the characteristics of a dime store novel. The court officials apparently held their breath and dreamed of millions as the tale unfolded. A story of hidden gold in the Pit Lake country. $10,000 in gold nuggets stashed under a tent-shaped rock. So Slumac was supposed to have murdered all these women to protect his gold, yet the facts are here for all to see under this headline. Shot dead September 9th, 1890. It says he was arrested for shooting Louis B. A terrible, unpremeditated murder was committed yesterday afternoon at a point on Lillooet Slough, not far from the Pitt River Bridge. An Indian named Slumac, aged about 60 years, was hunting in this neighborhood and came out of the bush with his gun in his hand. A half-breed named Louis B. sauntered up to Slumac and asked him in a casual way what he was shooting around here. Without a moment's warning or any preliminary sign of anger, Slumac instantly leveled his gun at B and fired.